ten most dangerous animals in the world. Number one, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes and the diseases they spread have been responsible for killing more people than all the wars in history. Even today, mosquitoes transmitting malaria kill two million to three million people and affect another two million or more every year. Sinus virus, the nocturnal mosquitoes of the genus Culex, transmit the so-called sinus virus, yellow fever, dengue fever, Zika infection, West Nile fever, chikungunya, and malaria, the most common of them all. Human infection with a mosquito-borne virus occurs when a female mosquito bites someone while its immune system is still in the process of destroying the virus' harmful coating. It is not completely known how mosquitoes handle eukaryotic parasites to carry them without being harmed. Number two, crocodiles. Crocodiles, subfamily Crocodilinae, or true crocodiles, are large semi-aquatic reptiles that live throughout the tropics in Africa, Asia, the Americas, and Australia. Crocodilinae, of a whole whose members are considered true crocodiles, is classified as a biological subfamily. They are dangerous when feeling harm and will attack you. Don't be too scared, though. There are not much attacks of crocodiles attacking humans. Number three. Sharks. Sharks are a group of a less more branched fish characterized by a cartilaginous skeleton, five to seven gill slits on the side of the head, and pectoral fins that are not fused to the head. Modern sharks are classified within the clade Selachimorpha or Selachi and are the year and are the sister group of to the rays. A shark attack is an attack on a human by a shark. Every year, around 80 unprovoked attacks are reported worldwide, despite their relative rarity. Sharks can be very dangerous sometimes, but unless you go near a shark and annoy it, you are completely safe. Number four, centipedes. Centipedes are elongated metameric creatures with one pair of legs per body segment. Most centipedes are generally venomous and they can infect, inflict painful bites, injecting their venom through pincer-like appendages known as for, forcipoles. Despite the name, centipedes can have a varying number of legs, ranging from 30 to 354. The good news is that house centipedes, while startling when they come running at super speed out from the under the kitchen counter, are not considered dangerous to humans. While it is possible that one might bite a person, more than likely it would take picking up a house centipede and handling one for what happened. Number, number five, the eagle. You might wonder, how is eagle different, dangerous? It's just a bird. But eagle is a common name for many large birds of prey of the familia Asapertrida. Eagles belong to several groups of genera, not all of which are closely related. Most of the 60 species of eagles are from Eurasia and Africa. You might wonder what is so dangerous about eagles, but when they attack you, you can arrive at a hospital instantly. They attack small things like babies, and they pick the baby with their beak and do something really bad, but these attacks are very rare. Number six, cone snails. Cone snails are almost all tropical in distribution because all cone snails are venomous and capable of stinging humans. Live ones should never be handled, as their venomous sting will occur without warning and can be fatal. Over the years, fatalities have been reported to several species of cones, with death occurring within five to eight hours after evanimation. Only a few species of wild snakes can painfully bite your skin. If you hold a wild snail in your hand, it will try to peel your skin off and keep on doing it until you start to bleed. The, the rasping skin isn't just a tickle. Rather, it can cause a lot of pain. Then, they suck up blood for a few minutes until they are full. Cone snails use a hypodermic needle like modified rattle tooth and a venom gland to attack and paralyze their pair before engulfing it. The tooth, which is sometimes likened to a dart or a harpoon, is barbed and can be extended some dim distance from the head of the snail and at the end of the proboscis. Number seven, stonefish. 
Synastia is a genus of fish of the family Synastidae, the stonefish whose members are venomous, dangerous, and even fatal to humans. If, for what, whatever reason, you accidentally stepped on a stonefish, seek immediate treatment as the venom can cause severe pain, heart failure, and even death if left untreated. Hot water can be used for temporary relief, however, seeking medical attention and anti-venom is essential. Frogfish often mimic venomous animals, while stonefish boast spines with toxic sacs. The potent venom can kill a person within two hours without treatment, so the fish often pose a hazard to divers, particularly those who walk along the ocean floor. Number 8. Electric Eels The electric eel Electrophorus, Electrius, and other species proposed is a South American electric eel. Until 2019, it was classified as the only species in its genus, despite the American electric fish. Despite the name, it is not an eel, but rather a knife fish. The electric eel generates large electric currents by way of highly specialized nervous system that has the capacity to synchronize the Activity of disc-shaped electric, electricity-producing cells packed into specialized electric ohumin deaths from electric eels are expensive. But these attacks are extremely rare. However, multiple shocks can cause respiratory or heart failure, and people have been known to drown in shallow water after a stunning jolt. Number 9. Snakes. Snakes are elongated, legless, carnivorous reptiles for the suborder Separatists. Like all other squamates, snakes are aerothecmic emote vertebrates covered in overlapping scales. During a venomation, the bites that injects venoms or poison, the venom passes from the venom gland through a duct into snakes' fangs and finally into its prey. Snake venom is made up of substances that have different effects. Number 10. Water snakes. You might wonder, water snakes and snakes are basically similar, but you are wrong. Water snakes have much more venom than land snakes. Northern water snakes often escape predators by swimming off across a body of water or diving below the surface, where they anchor themselves to vegetation or logs. They usually remain submerged for about five minutes, but are capable of remaining below water for an hour and a half. They don't they do not attack much but they stay away from them. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe this video.